now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. And our top story, the final debate. It was the last chance voters got to hear Senator Heidi Heitkamp and Representative Kevin Kramer as the two faced off for a seat in the U.S. Senate. Our Malik Rankin was there as the debate unfolded. We go to her now live. Thanks, Chad and Lauren. Candidates talked about Russian meddling in elections, relations with Saudi Arabia after the murder of a journalist, and how to fix our social security system. But the topic that commandeered control of the discussion from the moderator, the lawsuit surrounding the Affordable Care Act. Let's take a look at what Senator Heidi Heitkamp and Representative Kevin Kramer had to say. No time was wasted in showing the differences in views between Democrat Heidi Heitkamp and Republican Kevin Kramer. Kramer took the time to show his support for repealing the Affordable Care Act by questioning Heitkamp's intellect. In fact, our governor supports the Republican plan, our lieutenant governor, our attorney general, the insurance commissioner, the congressman, the other senator. I'm pretty sure he Heidi Heitkamp's not the smartest person out of that whole group and the only one that's right. With that said, with that said, he just mentioned all of the politicians, Republican politicians, who are supporting these plans. Guess who didn't? The North Dakota Hospital Association, the Physicians Association, all of the patient protections, AARP. There was not one group in North Dakota other than the Republican Party and the Republican Party officials who supported any of those plans for replacement. There was a moment of comedic relief as topics were changed. I'm going to move on now to another <laughs> non-controversial. This is so fun. This is fun. <laughs> this is a real debate. <laughs> this is, this is, what, the debate this is what debate. This is what the debate. This is what they came here yeah. for, right? Candidates gave their thoughts on immigration as a caravan of thousands are currently making their way to the southern border. The president did present four pillars, and guess who voted for it? I did. Guess who didn't vote for it? Half the Republican caucus in the Senate because they couldn't agree. And so it's time for leadership and it's time for bipartisan leadership. It's time to reignite this. But the one thing we know, we cannot leave our borders unprotected. I agree with that rhetoric, but we have to build that wall and then secure the other parts of the border with vessels, with aircraft, with technology. Another contentious topic that split the candidates were trade tariffs put in place by the Trump administration. I caught up with both candidates after the debate, asking them how they felt the evening went. They both said that this was a win for North Dakota voters because it gave View at Home a chance to see the clear differences between the candidates. Back to you both in the studio. Thank you, Malik Rankin, reporting live from NDSU Memorial Union Hall. The debate tonight follows news that former Vice President Joe Biden is making a stop in North Dakota next week. And Biden spoke at the last Democratic convention in Grand Forks. He is supposed to arrive for a special event at the Fargo Air Museum next Thursday at 11. He'll be campaigning for Senator Heidi Heitkamp as the party kicks off its statewide bus tour. Joe Biden is my kind of um, politician. He never forgot where he came from. He, he is as comfortable at, at, a, you know, at a bean feed in the park as what he is, you know, shaking hands with world leaders. In fact, probably more comfortable. The former vice president is